Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And we've been talking about prayer. If it's your first time to join me and you know you want to know more about what prayer is, uh, you might want to first watch the episode entitled uh, Struggling to Pray, where I talk about uh, what prayer is. And the next episode after that is Why Bother to Pray? And uh, where I talk the how, why, uh, why we need to pray. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about how to pray. And I would just like to be honest with all of you, even though I, I, I've been in a seminary for seven years and I've been a priest for five years, I also struggle to pray, okay? And, uh, and it's with the help of my spiritual director that I think I'm, I'm growing in prayer. And I would just like to uh, share with you what I'm learning uh, on how to pray. Okay, and uh, the, the, this method of prayer is called relational prayer, and uh, it has an acronym of A R R R. Okay, and uh, and this how to pray, I'm gonna break it down into three parts. Okay, so this is the first part wherein I discuss the first two, uh, the A and the R. All, uh, as we pray, always remember that uh, in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, two five six seven, it talks about the living and true God tirelessly calls each person to that mysterious encounter known as prayer. In prayer, God's initiative of love always comes first. Our own first step is always a response. Okay, so it, it's all, all, always good to um, always realize that when we pray, it is always you know, God has called us into a relationship with Him. We need to remember that. The second one is that He desires to communicate with us and for us to communicate with Him. And, uh, and He is waiting for us. The third thing is we, don't, we do not need the right formula or words to attract His attention. He is already gazing upon us with love. Okay, so um, the, first, uh, the first part of this uh, relational prayer is acknowledge, okay? And, uh, you know, just like, just like conversing, prayer is just like conversing with a friend. Whenever you meet with a friend, uh, you can't help but share with that friend uh, maybe your joys or your sufferings, your highs and lows of the days, maybe some of your fears, some of your doubts, some of your concerns. You share openly and honestly uh, with your friend and it starts with what's on your what's on your mind and what's in your heart right and uh, and, and that's what we share uh, with your friend and that's what we also need to do uh, with God you know uh, we need to acknowledge what's really in our hearts and in our minds and this is where uh, we it's always good to uh, uh, implement the the acts method of prayer so what's acts so that's adoration contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication, okay? So whatever is in our heart and in our mind, you know, maybe we're, we're being led to adore God, then, then adore God. You know, uh, when, we're, uh, when we, we when fell into sin and uh, we're, 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 we're truly sorry for our sin, then we need to do contrition, okay? And when you're experiencing a lot of blessings from the Lord, you might just want to thank Him, right? And, uh, and, the, 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 the last thing is, you know, if, if, you're, if, if you're praying for somebody, uh, then do a supplication, okay? So the, the first two parts of this relational prayer has to do with the acts method of prayer, okay? Wherein what's in your heart and your mind and related to God. Pope Benedict XVI once said that in learning how to speak to Him, we learn to be a human being, to be ourselves, okay? So... Um, so some of our struggles in prayer stem from not sharing with God the real stuff of life. You know, to share our hearts with God is what it means to be human. And so in the next episode, I will be talking about the uh, part two of this relational prayer. Uh, okay, so stay tuned to that. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.